So we've got a point, and we know that it's parallel to the vector 3, negative 4. So our vector equation of our line will equal our point 2, 5 plus some parameter. And since it's parallel to 3i minus 4j, that is our direction vector. So this one, the most straightforward way is to write it this way. If someone had written 6 and negative 8 instead of 3 and negative 4, that would still be right because that's just multiplying that direction vector by 2, but it's still going in the same direction. So there's more than one right answer for writing these out. In a question like this, it's expected that you use the 3 and the minus 4 and not multiply them by 123 just because you feel like it. But, well, you can multiply it by 19. It's good to practice your 19 times table. 19 times 3, 19 times 4. So this is our vector equation of the line. R is vector. T doesn't get the vector thing over because it's just a parameter. Now, if you wanted to write your parametric forms, that's looking at your x coordinates. Your x coordinates will be 2 plus 3t, and your y coordinate will be 5 minus 4t. Now, both of these, you could solve for t. This one, if you subtracted 2 and divided by 3, you would get t. And this one, if you subtracted 5 and divided by the negative 4, you would get t. So here we have our parametric forms. And if we wanted to find our Cartesian forms, once we've solved for t, we can make them equal. x minus 2 over 3 equals y minus 5 over negative 4. Now, just thinking of our direction vector, okay, we're thinking about our direction vector 3, negative 4. That would mean that we go 3 in the x direction and 4 in the negative y direction. This is our direction vector. What's the slope of that direction vector? If we're thinking back to grade 10 math, negative 4 over 3. So when I said our direction vector was very similar to our slope, it's very similar to our slope. It just has the run on the top and the rise on the bottom. Once we get Cartesian form, okay, once we get it to the Cartesian form, can you see that if I wanted to, I could get, remember this point slope form that I said? One of the equations, forms that you learned in grade 10 was the point-slope form of the equation. Can you see if I wanted to get y minus something by itself, I just have to multiply both sides by negative 4. And if I multiply both sides of my equation here by negative 4, well, that would multiply the entire top here, x minus 2. It would still be divided by 3 equals y minus 5. And then I have my point-slope form. Can you see that the negative 4 over 3 is what's in front, m, and we said that is the slope of our line. And one point that we knew was on our graph was 2 comma 5, and sure enough, I have x minus 2 and y minus 5. So we can take a vector equation, and if we get it into the Cartesian form, it's changing it back into the forms that we're used to. The nice thing about the vector form is it's not just limited to two dimensions, we can do three dimensions as well. <coughs>